Roadcaster Pro Mixer is currently my favorite for creators, podcasters, and I recommend it to all of my clients that are looking for like a mid-tier setup in their home studio. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to set up your mic like the uh, Rodecaster Pro Mixer I have and the Procaster mic I have right now that you're listening to. There's no uh, post-processing or editing in this video. This is the way it sounds out of the box. So let me just show you how to set all of this up. Step one, if you didn't watch my first video on how to set up the Rodecaster Pro, there's a link in the description to a whole tutorial series on it. But just the short answer is, make sure you download the Rodecaster Pro companion software, link below, download it, and make sure you update the firmware before you try to set up your microphone. There are settings that are not enabled automatically on the mixer when you pop it out of the box. You need to install the official companion software to unlock all of the features I'm gonna show you today. I don't want you to miss out on any of this amazing processing. Okay, so here's the actual mixer sitting right in front of me right now. So let's do a live demo of setting up your mic. Okay, first things first, obviously you're gonna have your microphone uh, set into whatever stand that you have. You're gonna plug in the XLR cable and you're gonna run that XLR cable around to the back of your mixer. As you can see, I have my XLR cable plugged into channel one right here. And when you pop that in, it will click and you know that it is secure and firm in place in the back of the mixer and you're ready to rock there. Okay, just go ahead and drop the volume levels on every other channel on the mixer and mute every other channel other than the mic that you're setting up today. That'll help you in the setup process. Make sure you enable monitoring by clicking the green button right down here on the bottom left. This will help you hear everything that you're doing with your microphone. I'm gonna pop on my headphones so I can listen to all the setup while I'm showing you, okay? Okay, so what you're gonna do to set up channel number one, which is where your mic is plugged in, is go ahead and bring the volume level to Unity right here at this tab. Go ahead and hold down the number one button. It'll pull up this menu up top. First things first, you're gonna start on the microphone menu here. If you bought a Rode microphone like the Procaster one I'm talking to you on right now, or the Broadcaster NT1, or any of the official Rode mics that this mixer is supposed to work with, you can just click that button straight up and it'll just automatically optimize to the settings, okay? If you don't have that, you need to look up whether your mic is a condenser mic or a dynamic mic, and you can manually select one of those two settings depending on what type of microphone it is. Google it if you don't know, okay? Once you do that, go ahead and hit the back button. Your next stop is going to be the voice menu where it helps automatically set some of the settings in the mixer and optimize them for you. Select tone. This is basically, do you have a high voice? Are you a female with a high voice? Uh, are you a male with a super deep voice? Are you somewhere in between? Generally, medium is the best setting across the board for most people, so I recommend leaving it at medium. And when you switch between these settings, go ahead and listen to the way it sounds and listen to how it changes the dynamics of your voice by having your headphones on while you do it and pick the one that just sounds better to you, okay? The next step is going to be strength. Personally, I am a strong voice. I speak very loudly. You may not be a strong speaker, so go ahead and start at medium, and you can move it to soft as well, and you can see how that changes the dynamics of how the mixer picks up your voice. Be very careful though, if you move it down to soft and you talk loudly, you could peak. I might have just peaked on this recording, I don't know. Uh, so be very careful there. Start at medium and then test strong and soft. Select the best voice strength for you. Once you're done with that, here's a really important setting. Click level. What you're going to want to do on this menu and enable phantom power if your microphone requires phantom power, you're going to talk at a presentation voice like I'm talking right now. And you're going to watch these volume levels pop right here on this menu. You're going to want the volume levels to kind of go toward the middle at your loudest, loudest, loudest. You see how it's popping up there at the loudest towards the middle, maybe towards the end of the green section. You do not want your volume exceeding this green section here. That means you could be peaking or distorting your audio signal. So you get visual confirmation that your volume level is rock solid right here. Minus and plus buttons on the levels to go ahead and do that. Okay, the last stop is the most impressive stop on this mixer and is one of the main reasons why you should buy this mixer is the built-in processing from Rode. This processing is amazing. You're gonna get to hear it right now, live. Check it out. Okay, so start by enabling everything out the gate except for ducking. You probably don't need ducking. We'll talk about ducking maybe in a later video. I don't know. Okay. What you're gonna do right now, this is the processed sound, no editing of how I sound through this mixer. If you turn processing off, 
this is the way I sound without processing through this mixer. This is, you see how much help the mixer is giving this mic? This is a clean audio signal, right? But as soon as I turn all the processing on, now you can hear that I'm much fuller. I'm just, it has more exciting sound. It's got a fatter bottom. It takes some of the S's out of my voice. It just makes me sound better. And then when you turn it off one more time, just to hear the difference, you sound flatter. It's a bit more mid-tony. It's okay, it's good, but it's not great. So what you're gonna do in this menu, if you don't like some element of what the effects sound like, you can try individually turning down each effect and turning it back on and seeing what the impact is on your sound. One thing to be very careful of is the noise gate. If you find your audio to kind of be cutting in and out uh, and you don't like that, uh, the noise gate could be the culprit. The noise gate is trying to make it so that light background noise behind you is eliminated and the mixer is only activating when you're speaking and it's not activating when some kind of annoying background sound happens, okay? Once you're done setting all of this up here in this menu, what you're gonna do is you're going to do a test recording, either through your computer, whatever your recording software is, or a test recording doing local recordings here. And once you're done with that local recording, play it back, read an entire script, do a practice video, and listen to your audio, not only through your studio headphones, it's really important to also listen to your audio through your phone because most people are probably going to listen to your content through your phone and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you sound fantastic through a phone. That's why this processing matters a lot. It makes your voice more exciting, more full. And so when it plays through these little cruddy speakers on people's mobile phones, it makes it so that they can hear you more clearly. And so definitely test out your recordings that way, okay? So a link is in the description below to all of the products I showed you right here, the Rodecaster Pro Mixer, this particular microphone, which I believe to be the best microphone to go with this mixer, and the boom stand and the whole nine. If you're interested in picking up this rig, links below to that. And there's a link, like I said earlier, to the whole playlist where I teach you how to do all of the setup and all the expert stuff with the Rodecaster Pro Mixer because it is quite complicated, right? But I'm gonna make it simple for you so you can use this powerful tool to sound your best with the press of a button, no editing and no processing needed afterwards. It just sounds great out the box. And that's why I recommend it to so many people. Happy creating, happy podcasting, happy whatever the hell you're doing with the mixer and keep making content and keep improving your quality. It's important when you can make those investments, invest in something good. And I very highly recommend this one. I use it every single day. Adios amigos, bye-bye.